Whenever the name of popular rappers NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk comes up, the only thing you hear the fans saying is pick a side, pick a side. Is this beef just like that of normal rappers who throw diss songs at each other, fight whenever they see each other or is there more of a war going on? But you know the fans keep wondering if it has always been like this between the two rappers or they were once cool from way back. Some have even compared the two rappers beef to that of Biggie Smalls and Tupac, you know the whole east coast west coast situation. So in this video I'll be talking about the beef between 4KT and OTF. Before we start the video be sure to leave a like and if you'd like to join this month's giveaway for one of these items on the screen then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and then watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck. Now without any more hesitation let's get into it. Rapper 21 Savage commenting on the rivalry between NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk on a podcast with DJ Academics recently said, When certain situations in the streets gets a situation of bloodshed, somebody loses their life. If you're also in the streets, you can't be hanging with both of them. You gotta pick a side or stay out of the way. This statement here tells you that this beef between the two rappers is something deeper that we thought, even though both rappers have never come out to say that they had any beef. In fact, in 2017, Lil Durk dropped a song titled My Side where he featured NBA Youngboy, but despite the collaboration between the two rappers, there has always been rumors of beef between them. There is no clear reason for the beef, but based on some connections of certain events, if one follows the music scene and trends, then there's the possibility that you can get the idea of why Lil Durk is not cool with NBA Youngboy and might not ever be cool with him. So here's the thing. One of the reasons that might have caused the beef was Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy's intertwined relationship with two other rappers, Atlanta rapper King Von and Georgian rapper Quando Rondo. You might be wondering how King Von got involved in the whole situation since he's now deceased, but I can tell you that the whole thing was already brewing a long time ago, even before his death. NBA Youngboy and King Von have always thrown subtle subs at each other, even though none have ever openly admitted that they were beefing. So here's how the whole thing started. There was a story some times ago of a brawl at the office of the giant recording company Atlantic Records involving two of their acts, YNW Melly and NBA Youngboy. According to witnesses then, it also involves the crew members of the two rappers and definitely punches were thrown. So basically it wasn't just ranting stuff, we heard real shit went down. The news of the fight did not blow up like that because the company tried as much as possible to ensure it didn't. You know, that would be bad for business. I'm sure you're asking me how King Von came into the picture. Von and Melly were close pals anyways and they also share the same manager. You know the kind of relationship that grew from just business partners to you know, real G's. So he basically took side with YNW Melly. Not long afterwards YNW Melly was charged for a crime and sent behind bars. That took him out of the picture for a while but also made King Von take it upon himself to continue the beef with YNW Melly, head with NBA Youngboy. One thing you hear rappers say all the time when referring to another close rapper, you keep hearing, he's my brother, just because rappers form clicks easily. You know, when one rapper is hot, has numbers growing and songs doing well on charts and so on, everybody wants to be around that rapper and also share in the fame. Most of the time, some of these people also feel like they have to prove their loyalty to the hot rapper as well as show him that they care. They end up inheriting beef even if it's nothing to do with them. You know, the urge to impress him and not appear fake by not taking sides. This was exactly what happened with King Von, because even when he appeared to be dissing Youngboy, fans got confused and questioned where all that came from, as they have not been seen having any issue with each other. Things became cool for some time until when King Von was traveling with his crew and while he was on Instagram Live. Youngboy's song Play With Me came up and Von made the following comments. The fuck Youngboy talking about on this song bro, he's talking crazy on this joint, he ain't even like that on his ass now, cap. He also started singing, you got cap on you, you got cap on, you got cap on. He literally questioned the integrity of the lyrics of the song. Even though NBA Youngboy never responded to that, it is expected that he would have felt disrespected by King Von's actions. After that act by King Von, things cooled down a little bit as both sides were not openly throwing subs at each other on social media. A few months down the line, King Von made us know that the situation hasn't changed when he tweeted something insinuating that he smashed NBA Youngboy's baby mama. Yeah, tweeted, I got stuff in my phone. If I release it, you wouldn't want to claim your kid. This here was a trigger to NBA Youngboy because it's known he doesn't like people talking trash about his family and baby mamas. This was like King Von wanted to draw a reaction from Youngboy. One thing is clear though, bringing people's family and women into this kind of shit, you surely looking for trouble and better get ready. Von also later posted a picture of himself hanging out with Youngboy's ex-girlfriend, Janielle. 
even though they insisted they were only making music together, but the act still increased the tension between both rappers. They were also holding hands in the said picture, which shouldn't be in normal street settings, since NBA Youngboy and King Von weren't cool, but we guess Von only posted that picture because he wanted Youngboy to react. It wouldn't have been a problem if the baby mama was seen with another guy, since she and NBA Youngboy weren't together at the time. Beef between two rappers is something that causes tension between camps, but when you involve women, not just women, someone's baby mama coupled with how men deal with ego, believe me, that's a recipe for disaster. King Von also went ahead after the picture post by tweeting, Lady switching sides immediately. Something is not going on fine with who they're going out with. Janiel soon tweeted, Don't need a nigga for shit. Clout, money, nothing. So if I fuck with you, I'm genuinely fucking with you, but you know what that's the problem. Y'all think it's sweet. Before ending with a middle finger emoji. The back and forth between King Von and NBA Youngboy shows everyone that things were heating up, even though both never came out to admit there was any. King Von was later asked in an interview if there was any beef between himself and NBA Youngboy. He denied there was any beef and said all of that were just rumors. When DJ Academics brought up the beef between the two rappers, King Von said the internet is responsible for spinning the whole narrative. They be saying that a lot. They would try to make it like that because it's the internet. He also mentioned that he and NBA Youngboy had the same interests which made DJ Academics to ask if they were beefing over women. King Von denied that and stated that he has no beef with NBA Youngboy at all, unlike how everyone has claimed on the internet. Earlier in the interview, King Von had talked about rap beef versus real beef. He said it wasn't real until someone got shot or something. Ain't no rap beef and it ain't no real beef unless somebody got shot or someone. So maybe his death was to show us that this was real beef and not a rap beef. After his death, his girlfriend, Asian Doll, also said there was no beef between the two rappers and that they made songs together which he never got released. She said, I got a song with Youngboy. Von got a song with Youngboy. Who the op? Only ops is you op ass people in our motherfucking business, bitch. Back to my motherfucking story, bitch. She continued by saying, this nigga talking about the motherfucking ops. They ain't even his ops. Get your clown ass on. You don't even know what the fuck you talking about. That's how y'all know you just talking. Y'all just making up all this shit in y'all motherfucking head. Cause that shit sounds good and that shit look good, but it ain't that. This here got us confused since the two rappers never came out to say that there was any beef. But what if they both said was true? Why would NBA Youngboy come out to diss King Von, even though he is deceased? How does that even make any sense if you like someone when they are alive and diss them in your song when they are dead? NBA Youngboy coming out now to diss King Von confirms what we've always known anyways, the two rappers were never cool. With the back and forth between King Von and NBA Youngboy, Lil Durk has never come out to get involved in this situation, even though we know he rose with King Von and they both represent O Block and both belong to the OTF gang. Remember what I said about rappers forming cliques? A rapper shows you who he's cool with just by the clique he moves with. He doesn't have to say anything cause just like 21 Savage said, it's hard standing in the middle. The NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk were no longer cool before Von's death, but after his death obviously they can't be friends. In May 2020, Lil Durk released a song with Lil Baby and Meek Mill titled Still Running. In the song, the lyrics were said to be targeted at Youngboy and his crew. Durk had rapped. That nigga was fucked the moment he ran and he knew he ain't ducking. His ass out of luck. Which many believed was aimed at F.E.G. Duck who was cool with Youngboy before he lost his life by getting shot. After the case was investigated, Muwap and C-Thang were later arrested for the murder of F.E.G. Duck alongside another OTF member. This shows that the beef between the two camps ain't rap beef, but real beef. Besides this, Lil Durk is also not happy with NBA Youngboy's closeness to Quando Rondo, who is a known op to King Von. Lil Tim, who's affiliated with Quando Rondo, has been arrested for shooting and killing King Von, Lil Durk's close pal and homie following an altercation at a nightclub. Y'all can see the connections between these rappers and how this whole beef comes into play. These rappers keep taking over other people's beefs as their own and it's gone to a stage where they all need to have a rethink. This is becoming a cycle. One gang loses a member and another trolls to death and before you know it, the cycle repeats itself. These young G's keep singing about the gangster lifestyle and the next moment they're seen lying dead on the streets cause they don't know when to stop. Recently we saw what NBA Youngboy did in his song, Bring the Hook, which was off his tape. The song has been buzzing over the internet anyways. In the song, he took shots at King Von, Lil Durk, 21 Savage, the entire O Block, and Kayla B, who's Von's sister. NBA had rap, nigga this is Squid Game, O Block pack rolled up, murder what they told us, Atlanta boy got fold up. 
This line here was actually aimed at King Von and the song entirely has drawn reactions from the entire O Block. NBA Youngboy's release of the diss track was an indication that things ain't calming down anytime soon. Even though NBA Youngboy is currently under house arrest with limited access to visitors, that's not stopped them from dropping songs which are doing great with numbers on the charts. He recently posted a picture of himself with dollar bills, which he used to form the word, you niggas gon' die. This picture also drew a response from Lil Durk as he later posted a picture of himself with dollar bills. He used the notes to write, hurry y'all bitch ass up, and also tweeted something like, we colorblind but we still rap. This was seen as a sub for NBA Youngboy whose upcoming album has been titled Color. Remember there was also news of a SWAT team raiding NBA mother's house though the house belongs to NBA. Three men were reportedly arrested with different weapons. Even though Youngboy was under house arrest as at the time of the raid and might not be involved physically, we still have to wait a little longer to find out if he was in any way connected to the guns. But let's put this together, the diss tracks between the two groups, the charged atmosphere, the threats on social media, the fans who felt they have to choose a side, and the guns all points towards only one thing. This shit between them is gonna end bloody if nothing is done to stop this sooner. These are young guys in their 20s, NBA is 22, Lil Durk is 29. We really wish these guys would focus on music and music alone. If they really hope to make it to their 40s, they really need to squash this beef as soon as possible. Hey you, yeah you, y'all like this video? Great, we got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like and all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees but you have to click on it fast because this message is self-destruct in 5 seconds.